With close-up shots becoming more and more common in architecture visualization industry, we need to step up our game to create more realistic renders. In this video we will see how to create condensation with this example. I have set up a scene with these objects with basic reflection properties. Now let's render it. As you can see this already looks good. To make it more better we shall add condensation to it. Before that, more than 80% of the people watching are not subscribed to the channel. So drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Condensation is the process where water vapor becomes liquid. Instead of using pre-made maps to create the effect, I'll create a condensation map myself. To start with I'll search for a high quality image of water droplet. Now I'll open that in Photoshop to make some changes so that the image actually works properly. First I'll invert the texture and make the background black. To know how the each map works, I have made a video on that please check that on the cards and on description box below. To create more depth I'm using the levels and bringing up the blacks a little more. To remove any color left in the image I'll make the image black and white by pressing the shortcut. Now that we have the texture, we shall jump back to SketchUp. I'll open the Asset Editor and select the appropriate material. Go into Bump and add the created texture in the texture slot. Now let's test render it. As you can there are three problems that we are facing. First one is texture looks too condensed. To fix that open the texture and under texture placement. Reduce the repeat UV so that the texture becomes bigger. Next thing is texture placement is in wrong direction. Water droplets are moving towards left whereas it should be going towards down. To fix that change the rotation to 270 degree. These problems might not be on your model, but I'm showing this so that you can also fix these if there is similar problem. Third thing is bump amount is too much making it look ugly, so I'll reduce the bump amount value to something very less. Now let's render it. There you go, we have made condensation effect in V-Ray for SketchUp. As you can see enabling this does affect render time by 10% for me, so use this accordingly. And that is all for today guys. If you found the video useful, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.